Today we are announcing a major change to our Cold War server. As announced in April 2023, Rooney Jones announced his last update to Overlord and his sunsetting plans. This means that Overlord is no longer supported and will not be developed to withstand the changes that Microsoft is making to their APIs. Our server is the largest PvP server that uses Overlord, and we use it so much that Jones made TextLord for us, but both will no longer be supported. So we have built a new EWR bot. This video will break down in two parts, where we explain how the system works and why we decided to move in a certain direction. Because how the system will work will have some large impacts on how people will play the server. Before we dive into it, I would like to thank Rooney Jones for his work to the DCS community and his care and attention to helping us with our own server. I'm going to say the quiet part out loud to make sure that this is clear to everyone because the loss of Overlord is a great loss to the community and it should really ring alarm bells with everyone. The default EWR system that, that DCS has is simply not sufficient for a flight sim in 2023. Overlord was a community project that made up for a giant gap in the game and the fact that we lost it is genuinely very concerning. Lastly, a disproportionate amount of attention goes to content creators like YouTubers or server owners, but very little limelight goes to the people that actually build the systems that allow them to actually generate content. The people that keep things going are the people like Moose and the Mist developers who build a scripting framework that powers a lot of the DCS missions. People like Cribbob who maintains SRS. The diligent Hoggett people that maintain the API documentation so new developers can understand how the scripting environment works. These are the small things that the entire community takes for granted, but this is a small handful of people that actually build and maintain the pipes that make the game actually playable to a level of quality that we have come to expect. This game would simply not be playable without these people. I just want to mention this because a loss of a single one of these people, like Jones, should raise alarms and concern for the general player base because this game is only playable because of the volunteers that make up less than 1% of the player base and they never get any attention. Our server would not be possible without these people. The work that these community members do add more to the game than a single module ever will because a new set of switches to press does not add to gameplay. With this now said and made clear, let's hop into our new EWR bot. If this is your first time here, this channel focuses on multiplayer sim gameplay, so if you're into that, please subscribe. We will start off with why we are changing things. The first reason is clear, because we need a replacement for Overlord. The second reason is money. Since the launch of the server, we have spent at least $5,000 to Microsoft to use their API. Even though the community has been willing to donate to the server, and we have been able to not only break even, but make a bit of a profit so we can buy modules for the server staff, it is a time commitment to keep track of the money and dealing with the taxes. And it just rubs me the wrong way that so much money needs to be around to keep things going. Since we reached the break even point, I have told people multiple times to take their donations down and to right size them because this is a hobby. It is not supposed to be a profit center. Additionally, we saw in our last recent survey that only 14% of players use Overlord, while the majority use TextLord or both. Outside of the administration stuff, there are some gameplay things that go into how we are thinking about the new system. The F4 is coming, and the MiG-23. This means there are going to be more popular Cold War planes that we need and want to support. When people think of the F4 and MiG-23, we want them to think of our Cold War server, because this is where these planes will feel most natural and at home. With the introduction of lookdown shootdown radars, we will start to cross the threshold where the planes are more aware of their surroundings and able to action on that information with medium range all aspect missiles. An all seeing eye EWR system combined with these more capable systems and missiles would be really oppressive. We are getting ahead of this and will be introducing line of sight. The new EWR bot does a sweep every 30 seconds, taking a snapshot of all aircraft detected by your team's EWR. When you call for a picture, it will reference the last sweep and give the last five closest detected targets, limited by line of sight. That means if an EWR or AWACS can't see the other plane, then you won't be able to. The exception is at 10 kilometer range where you will be able to see all enemy contacts in your EWR callout, regardless if they are seen by an EWR or not. These closed targets are found the moment you request a bogey dope or a pitcher, unlike the targets beyond 10 kilometer range. 
which are only found with the sweep tick. Please note that the EWR system will automatically give you updates every 30 seconds. You won't need to touch it if you don't want to. This is playing a balance between giving line of sight and also not degrading the server to a meta that encourages flying low and cutting trees. I'm absolutely adamant that the default line of sight system combined with the poor spotting in DCS has made for a really exploitive meta. People fly lower in DCS than they do in Battlefield 2 because they want to hide from radars. Additionally, when you join a multiplayer server, you automatically download the mission that you're about to play. This lets people go into the editor to see exactly where EWRs are. They then fly in areas where they can hide. Mission editors can try to combat this by adding more EWRs, but this lags the server. The simple truth is that we do not believe that having a system based on the default DCS logic will promote flying that can't be exploited easily, and it leads to really boring fights where the first to show to a radar is the loser. The new EWR system will also have a friendly picture feature where you can see friendlies nearby and it will let you change it to Imperial or metric units. We think these changes will lead to a better experience, lessen the need to be donation reliant, and also prepare us for the future planes coming down the pipeline. What we need from the community is to let us know if you think the EWR coverage on the map is sufficient and if you think there are any blind spots that are too large on the map. Additionally, if you think that the range for the perfect vision ring should be extended past 10 kilometers, then let us know on our Discord. We will announce on our Discord when we roll this, these changes out. We will be releasing a major patch soon, sooner rather than later. Also, if you are someone who has been do donating to the server, I thank you, but would like to use this opportunity to let you know that the new system will not cost nearly as much, so feel free, feel free to take your donations down or to right size them. Let us know what you think about these changes. And if you would like to help and support the server, please note that this channel acts as a mouthpiece for the server. So please consider subscribing and leaving a comment. Thank you.